everyone welcome back to the vlog so today is Monday and I am getting ready to leave to go Christmas shopping and get a couple of errands done um, I was planning on taking cash with me but we've been sick for the last two days nothing too serious cash had a fever of 99 and um, we're both like super stuffy I'm not as sick anymore but he still is like full of boogers um, but I don't want to take him out so my mom's actually gonna watch him and then um, hopefully I can get everything done within two hours. I did pump this morning so that he does have um, a meal in a bottle. Um, he's pretty good at taking a bottle and then he's fine getting back on breastfeeding. Um, so I'm going to try and get out of here. My mom's getting dressed, finishing up getting dressed. I'm dressed and this guy is hanging out in here for now. Um, as soon as Grandma's dressed, she's gonna grab him. Um, hi, handsome. So yeah, that's what's happening today. <sighs> Super stressful. This Christmas is just gonna be like gift cards and like last minute stuff because honestly, I just don't have the time. So I'm planning on doing gift cards with really cute wrapping and like candy or something like little trinket gifts to go with the gift cards. Honestly, I think gift cards are the best because then people can do whatever they want with them. I personally love gift cards, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't think anyone's gonna care because I just had a baby and I don't have time. So, that's what we're gonna do today. Hope you're along for the ride. Also, I need to read these. When I went to visit my kids last week, I got a bunch of cards and I need to read them. So I was thinking maybe I could read them on camera. I think that would be really fun. And then I got a ornament from one of them. It's so cute. Thanks, Presley, if you're watching. Guys, just so you know, my students did find my YouTube channel and they do watch it. Uh, so, and not just my kids, but like kids at school. They watch me and they watch Jennifer. So if any of my students are watching, get off of YouTube, do your homework and read a book. Hey guys, okay. So I was going to save this for a different vlog, but since I'm driving and feeling talkative, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it now. So a couple of days ago, well, no, like last week sometime, I get a text from my sub. And just a prerequisite, I have no hard feelings towards anyone in this situation. I am not mad at anybody. I don't think ill will of anyone. I'm just really frustrated. So just have that in mind before you hear what I'm about to say. So last week my sub texted me telling me that she um, was planning on resigning after Christmas break. Um, and to me, I was in shock and I wanted to know why because most of the time a substitute won't resign unless they're miserable teaching the kids and the kids are monsters and you know, it's just a miserable time. She assured me that it wasn't my students, that they had nothing to do with it, that they were wonderful, and that it was mostly just a health issue. She has four, four kids of her own, and um, she hasn't taught in a long time because she took a lot of time off to raise her children, and so she feels like she is extremely overwhelmed with the amount of work that she's doing. Um, not that she's like that I did that to her, that I gave her too much work, but because she's spending all day, every day with them um, and the grading and the planning, which is what an, a long-term sub is supposed to do. I'm only supposed to provide her with a certain number of plans and then she's supposed to move forward from that. Um, and that is our district policy. So I did everything I was supposed to do and um, so it's not like I gave her too much, you know what I mean? She just was feeling overwhelmed having four kids and having this full-time job. In addition, her thyroid, I guess, is having problems. And um, I don't know if people know about thyroid problems. I don't really know a whole lot about it. I know my sister has it um, and that it, it makes it difficult to manage her weight. Um, but Andrea, is having a difficult time with her energy level. So it makes her really dizzy, it makes her really tired. And so having a full-time job with four kids and this issue is making it really hard to do the job. 
So she assured me, she's like, it's nothing that the kids did, it's nothing that you did, I just, I'm having health problems and I need to go, I need to not be working full time. So I said, I completely understand, I'm so sorry. Like I wanted her to know that I was thankful for everything she's done and like I want her to go and get, you know, healthy. Like her health is 100% important. So I told her it's not a big deal, but now I'm six weeks in and I have six weeks left and the kids have six weeks left. Now they only have four weeks technically because two of those weeks is going to be winter break. So they have four weeks left until I return, um, in school. So now we're trying to find a substitute for four weeks. And now I have to plan for this person because the odds of this person being self-reliant like Andrea was is really slim. The odds of finding somebody that's willing to stay for four weeks is really slim this short a notice. And I just have this feeling that I'm going to have a different sub every week. So now I get to spend the rest of my maternity leave planning for a substitute not a long-term substitute because planning for a long-term substitute is way easier than planning for a day-to-day -day substitute because you can tell them okay cover this you know and most of the time they know what to do whereas a regular substitute is normally just like they need a scripted plan and like everything printed out for them and everything like that so I'm freaking like now I have to do double the work like you guys know how hard it is to plan for a sub for one day. Now I have to do that for four weeks worth of stuff while taking care of my newborn baby. Like, are you, so I'm a little bit stressed. So I'm going to start planning like over the winter break and anytime cash is down or with someone else, like if someone else is there, I'm going to have to be like, Hey, can you watch him while I sit like and plan? Like, I'm really not gonna be able to spend time with my baby. So like, I'm in my head, I'm thinking like, do I just go back? Like, should I just go back to work early? And, you know, duke it out and just deal with it and not be around my baby? Because honestly, like all the work that I'm gonna have to do, I'm not gonna be able to spend time with him anyway. I'm really like annoyed and frustrated and stressed and, I know I need to not be because I'm breastfeeding and when you're stressed out, like it affects you when you breastfeed and I don't think anybody around me really understands the severity. Like they keep telling me it's not your, like it's not your responsibility. You've been told, like I've been told by my superintendent, do not do any work while you are on maternity leave because I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting paid to plan for a sub. So on my end, I feel like saying, okay, if I'm gonna be planning for this person, like I am expecting to be paid because I'm still working. And I'm just like totally flabbergasted. I don't know what to do. Like, do I not plan? Do I just say, here's three textbooks, just do this chapter this week, this chapter this week, this chapter this week, and here you go and just let them suffer? Like, I told my students, when I went in on Friday, I told them everything that was going on. I told them, you know, I'm so sorry about all of this. I, I know you guys don't deserve this, you know. And they were very understanding. They were very mature about it. And they said, you know, Miss Anderson, we need you to be healthy. And Miss Valdez, we want you to be with your baby. So they know that they might have a different person every week. They know that they might not be doing the most exciting lessons. They know that they might not be having fun. They know that this substitute might not, you know, do all of the classroom management things that I do and that the sub did because they're not gonna be trained to do any of that. And they understand that it's only four weeks and one of those weeks there's not a, there's no school on a Monday. So that's positive and I just don't know what to do. Like, should I just do the bare minimum and just let let them go for four weeks without really, really learning anything like substantial? Or do I bust my butt and plan so that my kids can be kept up to date? Or do I wait until I go back to work and just kick butt and really, really get everything covered? Which I think is a better idea because I have such a good class 
that honestly I think that we could get a lot done when I get back. Um, I feel like just giving them the bare minimum for now would be better for me, for my baby. And I told my teammate and she was like, well, I'll just give the sub, you know, like if they feel like they don't have enough to do, like I'll just give them whatever I'm doing. So I think that that might be a good option too, like just have my teammate just print her lesson plans and give them to my substitute and say, here, just do this and call it what it is. I mean, I would rather me, you know, hammer in the good stuff later than try to plan and take care of a newborn. Because it's different when, when you plan for a sub, it's completely different than planning for yourself. Like, I know what I'm going to say. I know what things I need to do. I know what I'm looking for. But when you plan for a sub, you don't really plan for any, like, real learning to take place. I mean, as awful as that sounds, most of the time subs are doing busy work or review or practice or things like that, um, but not for that long of a time. Like if it's for one day, yeah, they just review all day or practice something or do like a fun, you know, activity that you wouldn't normally do. So I don't know what to do. Comment down below if you guys have any ideas for me. I'm like really stressing out and I don't want to spend my the last six weeks of my maternity leave with my baby that I'm never going to have again planning for a sub. I'd rather spend that time really thinking and planning what I'm going to do when I get back, you know, and investing in what I'm going to be bringing to the table. I just don't, I don't know. I'm very like... I just need to calm down and pray and just follow my heart and at the end of the day, you know, the kids are going to be fine. They're going to be okay. And like, people don't get that. Like, as a teacher, like, everyone around me keeps saying, it's not your responsibility, it's not your responsibility. No, but those kids are. Those kids and their learning is my responsibility. I'm not gonna let the fact that I was gone for three months ruin their fourth grade year. I'm not gonna do that. It's just not, it's not right. Those kids deserve everything and anything I can give them. And four weeks of boring busy work is not investing in their educate, like it's just not giving them everything that they deserve. So I don't know what to do. Oh. Well, I just spent a crap ton at TJ Maxx. But you know what? It's all right. Um, I ended up finding a Kate Spade luggage, like a carry-on, like suitcase, um, rolling suitcase and I've been wanting one of those so bad like the last time I went to the Kate Spade outlet I planned on going there to look at them to see because I already have like a bunch of purses I have diaper bags and like I have a couple of items that are luggage like I have my duffel bag my backpack and now all I needed was the uh, suitcase so it was on sale for 250 so I text Scott and I was like hey do you want to get me this for Christmas he's like sure so I'm like perfect I told him how much it was he's like yeah that's perfect and I was like and you don't have to go shopping for me and he was like I don't and I was like no not unless you want to so ended up getting that and then I ended up getting him a suitcase because with him commuting up and down until May he uses like this janky duffel bag that we got like for free from Under Armour when we like, you know, when you make a purchase of so much, you get like a free item. It was like this janky little like tote bag that he uses to go back and forth. And so I thought it would be nicer to like take a suitcase cause then he can roll it. And then later on when we travel, he doesn't own a suitcase. So now he has one and it's just like a little carry on size. 
So now when we travel, when we go back and forth to like Disneyland and stuff, he has a duffel bag that he can pack his stuff in. So I got him that and then I got him $100 to Dick's so that he can buy whatever he wants or um, he can buy weights for his gym when we move into our new house. Because I know he's mentioned like um, the fact that he um, wants to buy like free weights but they're expensive and I was like, well, I can get, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just got cut. Um, but anyways, so then I got my dad $40 to Dick's and then I got my sister-in-law a gift card to Ulta and I also got her a cute little planner. I got my other sister-in-law a gift card to Torrid which is the plus size um, shop and then I'm gonna get I got my little niece a little vacuum cleaner and now I need to get my nephews something I need to get my one nephew a Lego set my other nephew needs a he wants the Call of Duty World War II game and then I'm gonna get him like a crap ton of popcorn from Costco and my other brother-in-law and my nephew. So I'm almost done Christmas shopping. This year Christmas is just like crazy. I'm getting mostly gift cards because I just don't know what, what everybody wants. It's easier for me and I got like the cute little packaging for the, the gift cards so like it's in a cute little wrapper it's not just gonna be like a card or anything so yeah hi guys it's Char I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video today and for supporting my YouTube channel by subscribing don't forget to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can see when I put up new videos I hope you have a magical day